Politics, Border Metallurgy, that is Introduction and History of Border Metallurgy. The technology of pressing metal powders into a specific shape is not new. Older civilizations practiced the art of prehistoric times. As bear witness the iron pillars in Delhi, certain Egyptian elements and articles of previous metals made by the Incans. Modern powder technology, modern powder metallurgy also covers in the 1920s with the production of tungsten carbides and mass production of porous bronze bushes for bearings. During the Second World War, further development took place in the manufacture of great variety of ferrous and non-ferrous materials including many composites and a steady growth period developed during the post-war years until the year early 1960s. Since then, growth of powder metallurgy has expanded more rapidly mainly because of three potential reasons, economical processing, unique properties and captive processes. Similarly, the powder metallurgy process uh, is a rapid economical and high volume production method for making precision components from powders. However, there are a number of related consolidation techniques whereby powder can be rolled into sheets, extruded into bars, etc. and compacted isostatically into parts of more involved geometries. Over the last decades, the technology of powder forging has established itself for fabricating powders into the precise engineering parts, which have properties comparable with those of conventional forging forgings. Figures show the general flow sheet of powder's metallurgy process. During the past decades, the there have been significant advances in powder metallurgy or manufacturing techniques. New types of powders with superior properties allow the production of larger and higher strength materials. Careful control of the structures of original powder particles has made it possible to have more significant or intelligent manipulation of the structure of final uh, center materials. Default to process materials where fully dense high performance alloy can be processed with the uniform microstructure now can be processed. Now, the present and future trends of powder metallurgy in the overall material process technology, the industry, there are a variety of products utilizing Powder metallurgy. Currently, the main powder metallurgy products of HTE powder uh, metals comprise structural parts. Now, table. Wear resistant parts and high temperature heat resistant wear resistant parts and uh, magnetic parts or soft ma magnetic materials. The structural parts are, are uh, <coughs> these make up a large uh, portion of uh, portal metallurgy products. Their uh, main ingredients is iron alloy. Engineers have sought to improve their properties as they apply uh, them successfully to different products, home appliances, AOI equipments, motorcycles, agricultural machineries and automobile parts. As a result, their performance has grown and has their demand. In the past 10 years, the parts for transport machinery have led to the growth in the demand of portal metallurgy products, pulleys, sprockets and parts of the Variable valves control systems in order to increase the fuel efficiency have grown, have grown around 1.5 times. 
although these trends is not expected to change for a while even with the transition to hybrid electric vehicles and electric vehicles powder metallurgy products are being developed to support greater fuel efficiency and acceleration in the greening of technology by focusing on the following making parts thinner and lighter exhibiting de degradation in dimensional precision with sintering and thermal processing replacing thermal processing with higher sinter hardening and increasing cost performance by actively using low cost chromium as an element for strengthening powder metallurgy parts now the magnetic parts in the recent years uh, to support ict equipments uh, that rapidly continues to become faster use higher frequencies become smaller and denser to save in more energy achieving high the permeability and lower core loss in the high frequency region is being required for soft magnetic materials this means that the need of advanced magnetic material are growing for both present automobiles <coughs> in which uh, electronic controls are becoming increasingly advanced advanced for the next generation hybrid electric vehicles and, and uh, electric cars hitachi uh, powder metals is making advances in the development of technologies including sintered magnetic parts consisting of structural and magnetic materials the powder cores that feature low core loss in high frequency regions the next generation high performance parts we are focusing on microionization as the next generation technology for the field of information home appliances and the life sciences we are developing technologies for compacting into micro parts that are difficult to industry uh, difficult to industrially produce with machining and metal injection molding another area is the development of product that can directly contribute to the field of environment uh, energy as a company participating in the country of the environment it is powered with metals these advancing in the development of thermoelectric conversion electric technology that generates energy from waste heat and thermoelectric conversion modules as products utilizing this technology now the production techniques the powder production techniques the first one is, there are basically the <coughs> two powder powder production techniques the first one is mechanical method so in the mechanical method again there are sub classifications so those are crushing ball milling disc grinder and attrition milling the first one is crushing so in this the purpose are not much used as these processes are not used much as primary methods for production production of metal powders mechanical communication conversion is uh, possible by methods such as impact attrition shear and compression the formation of metal powders by mechanical methods relies on various combinations of these four basic mechanisms such methods have been used as the primary processes for the following cases that is the materials which are relatively easy to fracture such as pure antimony and bismuth relatively hard and brittle metals alloys uh, and ceramics second one the reactive materials such as beryllium and metal hybrids metal hydrates and the third one the common metals such as aluminium and iron which are required sometimes in the form of flake powder a common method used is the ball mill consisting of rotating drum with hard wear resistant balls the critical factor is the speed of the drum rotation a very high speed will cause the material and the ball will be pressed against the walls of the drum too low speed will result in an insignificant amount of movement in the lower part of the drum 
the optimum speed corresponds to a situation in which some amounts of the ball and materials is lifted up the, to the top of the drum and falls down on the remaining material. So another type of the mill is a vortex mill in which particles of materials are to be ground and fractured by mutual contact or collision. Such mills consist of two or more very rapidly rotating propellers within the mill casting and gas flow systems which uh, remove a desired size formation of particles. A disadvantage of mechanical method for powder production is the potential communication from the balls and mills walls. Flake metal powders are produced by flattering equiaxed particles produced by another method. These may employ ball, hammer or roll, roll mills. When milling the original particles, lubricants are added to prevent them from welding and sticking to each other. Aluminium, copper, bronze, silver, gold, iron and stainless steel flakes. Flick powders are produced commercially by the milling method. The crushing method. The major equipment are mortar and pestle, heavy top hammer, and jaw crushers. In jaw crushing, the crushing chamber is formed by one fixed jaw and the other movable jaw when between stationary side support the walls. The movable jaw is mounted eccentrically at the top and is driven by a motor via flywheel during the crushing process the material is drawn and uh, uh, into the uh, tapered crushing chamber as a result of the eccentric jaw motion and is reduced in size by compression and frictional forces in addition the angles between the jaws uh, can be altered to give optimum adjustment to the crushing of the material the final crushed product's particle size can be adjusted to the values between 15 to and 1 millimeter by adjusting the gap at the base of the jaws. The standard jaws and side walls are manufactured from the hardened steels. If the feed material is very abrasive or particular impurities are to be avoided, these components are also available in the stainless steel and hard tungsten carbide. If the fixed jaw is removed, access is given to the crushing chamber and the equipment can be cleared easily. In addition, the connection of an exhaust device allows work to be carried out in dust free conditions. The next one is the ball milling. The ball mills can be divided into two types, centrifugal and planetary mills. In a centrifugal ball mill, a single ball fastener is merely horizontally and eccentrically driven while not rotating itself. In spite of this, the velocity of the grinding balls, in this case, the still six times, it is still six times that of the grinding balls in the gravity ball mills. In planetary ball mills, two or four balls fasteners, each of which accommodates one grinding ball. They are attached to a supporting disc. During grinding, the grinding balls or supporting disc rotate in opposite directions so that two different centrifugal forces act on the ball's contents. The grinding material is reduced in size as a result of both attrition and impact. The grinding balls have a velocity which is 12 times of that of the grinding balls in a grinding ball mill. Each grinding medium influences the grinding process via the specific weight balls. The next one is disc grinder. In case of disc grinder, these are suited for processing hard brittle materials. 
a wet grinding is in, in a closed grinding vessel is driven horizontally and eccentrically uh, and which contains grinding elements is used to reduce the material to give a final particle size of a few micrometer the impact and friction between the grinding elements and the grinding vessel cause such a grinding energy that process generally concluded in the few minutes the last one that is a trator milling the trator milling or mechanical alloying is achieved by high energy ball milling under the conditions such as powders are not only fragmented but also rewelded together in this case the ball charge is steered through vigorously and rotating pedals commonly used grinding media types are stainless steels chrome steels tungsten carbide ceramic and zirconium oxides the materials and the media are then agitated agitated by the shaft which cross arms rotating at high speeds this causes the media to exert both shearing and impact forces on the materials resulting in a optimum size reduction and dispersion the material can be directly fed into the jacketed grinding tank of the mill the final result of the grinding action is a fine and even particles dispersion the charge is a blend of a chemical pyrroloid powders at least of which is a ductile material thank you